Mr. Secretary Blinken, I would like to uh, share with you some of the uh, episodes Uh, some brief episodes that I went through and that I experienced th during the, my volunteering, uh, during uh, especially during the first wave of the pandemic here in Italy. And uh, during the first months, uh, we were all very hardly hit here in Italy, um, starting from uh, the end of February, uh, continuing to head uh, down to March and May. And uh, some of my Muslim friends and I, uh, we initially felt like we, our hands were tied. We could not do anything. But then uh, something blinked in, our, blinked in our minds and we decided to, uh, to do something to help the people around us, our community. And we decided to join the ambulance service, some of us, hmm. um, as a form of contribution to our town, to our uh, city, Brescia which was one of the most hardly hit by the pandemic of COVID-19 in Italy. We began, we started as basic, basic health workers who transported uh, sick patients uh, from between hospitals and um, between departments in the, the, the same hospital. And later on, we completed our training and uh, became first responders um, last uh, June, at the beginning of last uh, June. Uh, during the, my service as an ambulance um, uh, volunteer, uh, there was an episode that shook me and changed my perception of the pandemic. Uh, we were transporting an old lady. I think she was uh, 92 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was not very sick in physical terms, but she was very, very emotionally uh, distressed and uh, uh, She, uh, it may be a, a very hard uh, thing to say or to hear, but she, she wanted uh, not to live anymore. She wanted to die, not to experience the hard, uh, the hardship of the pandemic. Mm. Uh, and uh, I was, I was shocked at it at the time, uh, hearing her saying these words. But um, it was a very more important moment for me. Uh, At first, I did not even think about it. I uh, spontaneously reacted as a health worker and, uh, and volunteer. So I tried to comfort her and to uh, reassure her that everything is fine. We are uh, taking care of you and so on. But this moment uh, made me more aware of what was going on. We were, um, it's like we were asleep and then we woke up uh, collectively. Mm -hmm. And along with this work in the ambulance, we uh, provided at the mosque, uh, we provided uh, food boxes for families in need and people who could not simply go out to grocery, or grocery stores mm -hmm. as we had a complete lockdown here in Italy. So people could only uh, move uh, from their homes for uh, very, very important needs. And uh, as young Muslims in uh, GMI or uh, young Muslims in Italy, We also volunteered for psycholog psychological support uh, for people who needed it mm. from the youngest kids, uh, telling tales to them uh, through the social media up to the elderly who needed a more, um, a more of a comfort to uh, reassure them. I think if I had to say something about uh, this pandemic as a whole, and uh, our experience as volunteers, I would say that we are more All, uh, all of us, we are all more aware of what is going on around us in many senses. And I hope these uh, brief experiences, these brief uh, episodes uh, helped uh, convey my, uh, my message, my feelings. Thank you so much. And, you know, it, it's, um, it's so important and powerful to just share these, um, these stories um, and to focus on uh, in whatever we're doing. Um, on the on the human impact and especially you know for those of us who are working uh, for example in government and we have to make um, decisions about what the policy is what the right approach is um, it's easy to get separated from uh, the human dimension because everything that, that we do in one way or another for good or for bad uh, winds up having some kind of impact on individuals and it's incredibly important to be reminded all the time that that's really what this is about. 
Uh, and so thank you for sharing your story because it's, um, it's just a reminder of um, the, the human dimension of everything that, uh, that we're all doing and that uh, is really at the heart of uh, what should be motivating us. And what a wonderful, what a wonderful thing to do. Uh, I'm just curious, do you think, had it not been for COVID-19, would you ever have volunteered to uh, uh, be a, um, a first responder? Is that something you were thinking of anyway? Or was it just, oh, here's, some, here's a way I can help given COVID-19? Um, it was in my mind to begin volunteering in the ambulance service. Mm -hmm. uh, because I I was already thinking that uh, it would help me uh, in my uh, to have a, a more practical view, mm -hmm. a more practical perspective in the medical field, mm -hmm. and uh, I started actually um, the um, formation uh, course, the formation um, mm -hmm. uh, lessons uh, before the pandemic started. It was uh, I think October. October 2020, uh, 2019, mm -hmm. and uh, but the core part of my uh, willing uh, willingness to uh, continue in this volunteering and uh, uh, helping people in this way through the ambulance service uh, was provided by the pandemic. Uh, at first, it was just um, a nice practicing uh, ground for me. Hmm. And by the way, I probably shouldn't ask, uh, but what happened to the 92 year old woman? Do you know? Yes. Um, actually, we stopped the ambulance. Uh, I told my driver, who, who he was, uh, who is my friend, and uh, a young Muslim as well. And we both comforted her. We tried to reassure her. And uh, it was a very, very short trip. It was like a five-minute trip, trip in the ambulance between uh, one department and uh, the other uh, of the same hospital. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was maybe the most challenging, uh, challenging um, trip we had in the ambulance uh, since we began uh, volunteering in this field. She is fine, and she uh, she was fine when when we arrived at the department, and uh, I hope she is still uh, very good and very uh, healthy, very well. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.